Mastering the nominative case in compound sentences. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating area of English grammar. We're focusing on the nominative case, but more specifically, we'll learn how to use the nominative case in compound sentences. This knowledge will help you construct your sentences accurately and confidently. Before we dive into compound sentences, let's ensure we're clear on what the nominative case is. In English, the nominative case is used for subjects of a sentence. It answers the questions, who, or, what, is performing the action. Here are a few examples. He runs fast. Dogs are friendly. In both these examples, he, and, dogs, are in the nominative case because they are the subjects performing the action. Now that we know about the nominative case, let's quickly review compound sentences. A compound sentence is a sentence that contains at least two independent clauses. These clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction, and, but, or, nor, for, so, yet, or a semicolon. Here are a few examples. I love coffee, and my sister prefers tea. Tom likes to read, but his brother prefers playing video games. In these examples, the subjects, I, and, my sister, in the first sentence, and, Tom, and, his brother, in the second sentence are all in the nominative case. When we use the nominative case in compound sentences, we need to remember to apply it to each independent clause. That means each clause should have its own subject in the nominative case, like in the examples from section 2. Let's see a few more examples. They will go to the beach, and we will stay home. She is studying for the test, but he is watching TV. In the first sentence, they, and, we, are the subjects in the nominative case for their respective clauses. Similarly, in the second sentence, she and he are the subjects of their clauses. Great job sticking with us through this journey into the nominative case in compound sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice using the nominative case in compound sentences, the more natural it will feel. We hope you found this lesson helpful, and we look forward to helping you further on your English learning journey. Happy studying!